Hi, this is Meredith Eisenberg, and I am going to show you a really easy way to put a Facebook fan page um, reveal tab, or some people call them gates, a fan gate, on your page. I just actually discovered this new app that makes it very, very easy to do, and you can have videos in there, as I'll show you, and you can have an email opt-in form, basically anything you want will work, and you don't need to worry about the... Um, SSL certificates and things like that. So um, what you need to do is just go to search and you type in um, static HTML. It's going to take a minute to come up. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and add the static HTML to a page. Usually you probably won't have this gigantic list like I have, I do a lot of Facebook fan pages for various clients, so I have a long list of ones I could add it to, but I'm going to choose Tame the Internet Monster for today, and I'm going to click Add Static HTML iframe tabs. Okay, so now that that's done, what we need to do is go ahead and go to the tab we just created. which is called by default welcome, but you can go in and edit the settings and I'll show you at the very end how to do that, to change the name if you want to. Okay, so I have some content in here because I was experimenting with this, but I'm going to start from the beginning. So I will delete it and start again. And the first thing I need to do, you need to do is to get some images. You need two images, one um, for when people come to your page and they haven't liked it yet, saying welcome to the page, you know, like this and get this with a little arrow up to the like button and all of that. Um, and then you need another page if you're going to do the gate for once people have liked your page, then what happens? So um, I went ahead and uploaded all the images and everything have to be um, hosted somewhere else. They can't be hosted in Facebook. They have to be links in. Um, WordPress is great. I mean, you can either send it up through FTP, but if you have a WordPress blog, it's just as simple as going to Media and clicking Add New, and you can upload your pictures. And then once the pictures are uploaded to get the link, what you do is you click on Edit, not View. View doesn't really work for this. And then the file URL, you go ahead and copy that. So do a control C and copy that. And then you go back to your um, Facebook and then you go caret image SRC equals quote. And don't worry, I will give you a little cheat sheet of all these codes. Um, so then that's just the basic image. And so I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes. And I'm going to click preview so you guys can sort of see what things are starting to look like. Okay, so this is like the basic banner. The next thing I wanna put in there is I made a little welcome video on YouTube. Now again, the key with everything for this, the magic number is 520 pixels. So you want everything to be 520 pixels wide. So I'm gonna go over into um, YouTube and I'm gonna go click embed and then you get a choice and don't choose any of these standard widths. But um, go down to custom, right down here, and put in 520. So you get 520 pixels wide and about 382 pixels tall. And so then you can go ahead and copy that code and go back into your Facebook and go ahead and um, hit enter after the end of that line and go ahead and put the YouTube code in. So I'm gonna go ahead and save changes again and I am going to show you what that looks like in the preview. Okay, so there we go. We have a little YouTube video there too for people to play. And you know what? I am the world's biggest scaredy cat when it comes to video, but that's the way the world is going. So I guess we all just need to get over it and just be happy with our videos. So there you go. Um, so then the next thing, so we're going to go back to that page again. So go back and click the welcome tab with the star. And um, I am going to pick up my um, Aweber form. And so I've already created a form in Aweber. And so I'm just going to pick up the code from it. And the Java code works just fine. You don't need to use the, um, the non-recommended raw HTML. Just this little snippet is fine. So then you go Control-C. 
and then you go back to Facebook and click um, So click enter and then click control B. And so then click save changes and go ahead and click the preview and scroll down to the bottom. And with this form, I went ahead and I also made it 520 pixels wide so that everything is kind of the same, the same width. And you can put any HTML that you want um, within here. You can even have it act as an iframe for your current website. But the problem with that is that current websites tend to be, you know, 900 pixels wide at a minimum, and it only will show 520 pixels of it. So it's kind of, in a way, better just to sort of do your own thing and do your own HTML in here. So then, um, this is the light gate part, and this is actually pretty easy. If you just leave this blank, then um, it'll just be the same, which a lot of people do that. They don't necessarily have a, a special like page, but if you want to have a special like page, it's a good thing to have. And so my computer's acting a little freaky here, so just bear with me for a second. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and pick up my image that I have for, um, once people have already liked the site. So I'm going to click on media again and um, I'm going to go ahead and click on edit on my fan page bottom. And you can use anything you want to create the images. I used Photoshop but you could just as easily um, use Word or um, Picnic or Acorn or Microsoft Paint as long as it's 520 pixels wide everything is is really good for this project so then what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go ahead i'm going to delete what we had in here before but i'm actually going to leave so what i have is um a click link so i'm making the image a clickable image so that when people click on it it takes them to what i'm giving away for free which is a free course on how to get more traffic to your website it's actually a pretty cool course, and eventually I'm going to charge for it, but I just have it out there as a freebie for now, um, just so that people can get to know me and get to know what sort of thing I have a little bit better. So um, what you do is you type caret A space href equals quote, and then um, the address of where your PDF file is or where your freebie is or where your thank you page is, and then quote, and then another caret. And then here you type in um, IMG SRC equals, and then you go ahead and paste in um, the name of your um, image that you want for your, since you've clicked here, you know, click here to go get your report is what that second image basically says. So let's um, go ahead and save changes and see what that looks like. Okay, so this is what the fans get and then so you click over here and it'll show you what the fans get. And so right now it just says thank you for liking this page. But I think I'm going to go back in and I'm going to copy my autoresponder code so that they have a chance to um, get into my autoresponder either way. So it's just taking a minute to do this. Aha. Okay. So here's my Aweber code here. It says Aweber. That's how I know. And I'm going to go ahead and um, copy it. And I'm going to go ahead and go down and paste it. Click enter. You don't really have to in HTML. I just like to see what I'm doing a little bit better. And then um, go ahead and click and say save changes. And then um, go ahead and preview. And so this is what the fans see now. And it has my opt-in form too. So hopefully, you know, until today, I didn't even have my opt-in form on my fan page. Ashamed to say, because I did it in um, a different system, and that system didn't allow that. Um, and if you've been watching this video, and if you're at all curious, you probably want to know what this magic button is. And this magic button is things that you can buy from them. I mean, the static HTML is free, and there's no additional... Um, you know, stuff on your site. There's, you know, it's just a, a nice, clean, free app 
their logo's not on it. It's white label. It's really cool. Um, if you go to the magic, you can find out that you can get um, Google Analytics if you want. You can get custom icons. You can get a whole bunch of other stuff um, with the paid account. So if you're interested in that, you should um, check that out. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into edit page and we're going to make sure that this is the page that people get. So let's go back to our wall so we can get an edit page. And go ahead to edit page. And go to manage your permissions. And then it um, you have a choice of default landing tabs. And my default landing tab is welcome. Um, if you want to change the name of the tab, um, what you do is you go to apps. I um, notice I have two welcome pages, so in my case it might be a good thing. Um, and then you want to check, go to edit settings, and you can do a custom tab name, which is mine is going to be free web traffic course. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and click save and click OK. And then I'm going to go back to manage permissions and make sure that um, the landing page is still correct. I think it should be. Yes, it is. And then um, when I look at the page, of course, it goes into the wall. So there you go. That is how you set up your fan um, gate in um, Facebook.